Hey, it's Ray Dombrowski. In today's video, I wanna show you an all new update for t-shirt squares. These are mock-up panels that make your designs look like they're printed on t-shirt fabric. Perfect for showing designs in your portfolio, Behance page, online store, and your Instagram and Facebook page. What's new in this update is that the templates are higher resolution, 4,000 by 4,000 pixels, and there's lots of automated features like automatic warping of your graphics with displacement maps to match the fabric wrinkles. And there's also what I call the magic fabric texture layer that will make your designs look even more real. So let me show you how these t-shirt squares work. At the top here, you'll notice a layer called your art and that's a smart object. And that's where you're gonna put your art. So let's go back to that in a little bit. Below this, I'll show you the different fabric panels and each of these has a little bit different wrinkle pattern. Some of these have collars, so your graphic looks like it's printed on the front of a t-shirt. And you can change the color of any of these and add your own art to any of these. So back to that smart object, let's double click on that. And that opens a smart object file. At the top of this, you'll see a layer that says magic fabric texture paste your art below this layer and change opacity for intensity. So this is a layer that adds knockout texture to your design and it really adds to the realism. It looks like your t-shirt is screen printed onto that fabric. So it's a little hard to see here, but if I zoom in, you can see if I turn that texture off, it just goes to kind of a basic, you know, vector art looking kind of thing where if I turn that fabric texture layer on, it's knocking a little bit of transparency through our design. Below that, you'll see a layer called hide this layer. So let's go ahead and hide that. And I'm gonna go into Illustrator here where I have a logo and this is a vector logo and it's white, orange, and then the background is a navy color. So we don't need that navy color. Let me just drag this over so you can see that it's got a transparent background. So what I wanna do is let's just select that white and that orange and go Command C and we'll go back into Photoshop into that smart object and we'll go Command V and we're gonna paste that art as pixels into a new layer. And let me scale it down. Now it's a little hard to see because part of that logo is white, but let's go ahead and save that smart object and go back into the main t-shirt squares file. So here you'll really notice that the art follows the shape of the wrinkles in that fabric panel. So if I show you the different fabric panels, you'll see how the warping of the art changes. And this is due to the displacement maps that are linked up with each of these fabric panels. So let me go ahead and drop down and show you what's inside of each of these fabric panels. At the very top is a layer called shading levels. And this adjusts the contrast of the lighting of the shirt. So the little shadows that are in the fabric wrinkles and the highlights. So if you want to adjust this, just click on it. Your properties window should come up and then you can move around these sliders to increase or decrease the contrast. The layer below that is called fabric shading and that's just the photo of the t-shirt the fabric. So if I turn that off, it goes to just a flat graphic. So we wanna leave that on. Below that is that same smart object file that we have above. You can go back into that smart object by double clicking in here or you can also go back to that top one. It's the same smart object. And with each fabric panel, you'll also notice a smart filter and this is your displacement map that's automatically warping your graphic to match the fabric wrinkles. So sometimes these become unlinked or sometimes you might wanna change them a little bit. So I'm gonna double click on this displace. And first of all, you have a horizontal scale and a vertical scale that come up. So let's say we wanted a little bit less warping. I could change that to 40 pixels and 40 pixels and click OK. And the thing we're gonna to wanna to do is, let's go into our displacement maps folder that comes with this download, and make sure you pick the same displacement map as your fabric panel. So this is displacement map 10, 
and we're in fabric panel 10. So that's the one we're going to want to relink back up. So just click open and you'll notice there's a slight bit less warping because I had changed that displacement from 50 pixels to 40 pixels. So if you wanted more warping, you could change it to say 60, but you're going to want to stay between say 30 and 60. Otherwise your warping may look a little flat or if you go past 60, it may look a little too extreme. And your last layer in this layer group is called fabric color. So you can just double click on this layer thumbnail and you can change the color. So let's say we wanted to go to like a dark gray. We could make it dark gray. If we want to go to black, don't go all the way to black. What we want to do is pick like a really dark gray. That way you still see some of the shading contrast in those fabric wrinkles. And let's say we wanted to change this fabric color to white. So I'll double click on that again and we'll go to white and you'll notice the white ink disappeared. So let's go back into that smart object and I'll just invert this just to make it easy. Image adjustments, invert, click save. And then we go back into the main t-shirt squares file and now you can see the ink colors. You also notice that the fabric shading is a little too contrasty. So let's go back up into the shading levels and click on this layer thumbnail. Your properties window should come back up and let's just move these sliders till it starts to look really nice. This new version of T-Shirt Squares is a free update for anyone who ordered T-Shirt Design Master Collection, my largest bundle of T-Shirt Design resources, including mock-up templates, textures, logo templates, T-Shirt Design workshops, and tutorials. To find out more, Follow the link on this page. Thanks for watching.